Hello, hello. Buongiorno a tutti. We are here from Cremona and uh, um, welcome here back to my channel. I had a, a request from Tamara. Um, don't remember her family by name, but Tamara she made a good question um, about the string heath. Um, the string heath at the upper nut at the, next to the pack box. And that's actually a, a good uh, question because uh, you see plenty of things which are not very much under control. So there, I, I just want to give you a small explanation. Um, I will write the measurements down below in the video. For so now let's make it. Now I'm thinking of okay. This is now the fingerboard all the way. Yeah. And here you have here now your peg, your upper nut, okay? And then you have here somehow here in be behind the, the peg box. I don't know, this is not very well. I'm not, I'm, I'm glad I didn't become an artist, but you know, y y this is the fingerboard, okay? Very, whew. and here you have these, these notches where the, String lies. Okay, this is also very bad here. I have to do it a little bit better. And then like this. Okay. So, and if you now see this, now I have to explain you how you can see this here by taking an instrument. It is like seen from like this. No? So, you get this from this here. And if you don't pay attention, some are comfortable and some are very high, right? The right measurement is actually very individual. But to bring things down at the point, we have on, a, on a, uh, this, this ebony upper nut here is like on a violin Zero, zero, 006 millimeters and on the upper part it is close to one millimeter but I would say zero 008 millimeters this is without the string okay where the string leads this means that in the middle is the compromise so it becomes zero 007 and it is not somehow I just I really measure it very precisely okay so once I have this shape from here to here, like it's a little bit going up a little bit, then from here to the rest, I can make it round, okay? Like I designed it here, but in the initially, I make it very, a very clear shape, exactly the same curve like the fingerboard. Now, once I put in my strings, now this one here is a little bit too much over there, but distance should be all the same and it counts always the center of the finger of the, of the the string the string itself should be should be in the saddle a third of the diameter of the string okay so if we have now a string like this and we divide it in three parts this lower part should be completely inside the, the saddle and the rest is up and it is not that the, the saddle is like this and then it's all somewhere no it is just lying on and that's enough okay this is the answer of tamara for tamara but on the other side something else very important uh, detail would be so we have to make it like this here that we make it green like this and red like this okay okay yeah so the green part one is right and on another thing which I think is very important because some people when they make it want to make it very accurate I noticed this of my apprentice and so they measure the string and then they take the right file with the right 
measurement and then they make the channel of the upper nut precise how it should be which is very nice but then the string itself is a little bit too tight and it is not good if it is too tight it should be a little bit loose in order that when the string is vibrating that it is still easy in rotating in this upper nut only if the string is free laying on the upper nut and still capable to to vibrate and turn in these notches then you achieve the maximum okay and in order that the string is slipping very well I put some graphite of a pencil insides in order that the string doesn't uh, damage when I pull up the string or by tuning and it is always moving nicely on the graphite which I put on these notches so make them slightly a little bit more bigger in order that the string is vibrating or is able to vibrate freely in the upper nut okay I think this is the best uh, answer and you can then later on with the upper nut you made with the right um, he's, this is now for violin and I will put down below also the measurement for viola, cello and double bass with the diameter of the string and a third of the diameter and string inside you can even exactly clear out how deep it should be that doesn't mean that now on a on a, a musician wants it more down or higher up or things like this okay and very often the impression of of how it feels to pull to to squeeze the string also depends on instruments on the shape of the fingerboard if somebody made the fingerboard too uh, hollow and then here in this positions it feels like it's really deep and is on the long run not comfortable okay so you you need somehow to have from everything the right measurement and and the truth is always in between two realities okay thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video as well and if you want to have some more information about specific details like this I would say sign up on my patreon channel and you will get on a monthly basis measurements you have the chance to take part of my question and answer and you can every month take part on the live uh, uh, question and answer uh, transmissions or if you don't have time at that time you can later on see all these live um, uh, transmissions later on and study and make me questions and if I, uh, when I get some question on Patreon of my patrons I'm, I take my time immediately and I see it like a message of my wife that she asked me something and you can ask me and I will answer you right away sign up on my Patreon and you get all the information you need all the best bye bye see you bye bye